Everybody, I was bluffing. Or maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming. Yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me that I'm a fool for trusting in these wings. But maybe, baby, this will fly. Drinking themselves crazy tonight <laughs> Baby, I should call and say told you I'd be right Wondering how long it was before you realized The biggest mistake of your life And now you're paying the price Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing Your opinion or now you know just what I'm choosing I gotta do this Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud And they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings But maybe, baby, this will fly Falcons are experiencing its best start to a season since 2015-2016, starting out 5-1. They look to extend that this evening in front of a packed house in Jeromesville as they take on 4-4 four four Wayne Dale. We got the, all the action coming your way on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have with pregame coming your way next. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flex Steel, Mohawk flooring, Dutch craft bedding and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com. Guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game.
We welcome you inside the 89 Homes pregame show for this WCAL contest between Hillsdale at 5-1 and, and Waynedale at 4-4. Four and four. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Berardi coming to you live and free from Jeromesville this evening. First time doing a basketball game here at the new gym in Hillsdale, and it's packed out tonight to see Hillsdale's boys squad off to its finest start since 2015. 2016. But before we talk to them, or about them, let's talk about the visitors on the scoreboard, the Wayne Dale Golden Bears. I mean, this is a team back-to-back -back baseball state champions, but basketball-wise, off to an okay start. They're 4-4, four and 2-2 four, two and two in the conference. However, they're on a three-game losing streak since starting 4-1, and one, scoring 58 points per game, allowing 54.9 last season. They finished at 500. They won their sectional semi before falling by two points in their sectional championship. Finished five and nine in the WCAL. As we now take a look at our player spotlight, there he is on your camera. And that is one Matthias Raber. This season, his two highest scoring games Eight against Canton Central Catholic in a tough loss. And then 22, a game high, 22 points against Smithville. He's going to need to do something like that again if they want to be able to compete with the Falcons of Hillsdale. And now let's take a look at the Falcons of Hillsdale. Five and one on the season. They actually just lost their first game of the year to a very big powerhouse in the WCAL, Norwayne, co-champs last year with the Dalton squad that made it to the regional final. Norwayne has high hopes of making a big run as well. They're scoring Hillsdale though, 59.5 points per game, giving up 57.3, but that, that number's ballooned due to their 71-26 loss to Norwayne. And like I said earlier, they are off to its best start since 2015-16 when they started 5-1. and one. However, they lost that next game, so this could be their best start they've had in at least 10 years if they can get the victory tonight. And one of the players that's going to help him, help this team get there, is their leading scorer. That is one, Braylon Jarvis, and you've heard his name here on the OH Report. He was their wing back, running back, wide receiver, Made a lot of big plays in the last couple years on the football side. Now he's doing them on the basketball court as well. 18.5 points per game, 5.5 rebounds, and three assists on a squad that most of their players average over two assists per game. This is a team that likes to share the love. As Mr. Jarvis getting one final break before we start things this evening and while we have a moment before we get into the national anthem i want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening let me know where you're watching from give us a shout out and we will shout you out here inside the 89 homes pre-game show we did do a couple girls volleyball matches here at the new gym in hillsdale but this is our first basketball game of the year Good to see a team like Hillsdale in Division 4 off to a great start, and they're going to need to because they're in the same district, well, sets of districts as Richmond Heights. As we get ready here for the playing of the National Anthem, so let's take a look at our keys to victory. First for Waynedale, and it's to get off to a fast start. Get off to a good run, stun Hillsdale, and that'll help you. And then one and done, keep Hillsdale. Two, one, and done. Don't give them any second chance opportunities. They will be right in things. Now let's send it down to the floor as we get ready for the national anthem.
back here inside the 89 Homes pregame show. Now let's take a look at the keys to victory for the Hillsdale Falcons. What do they need to do to get victory tonight? First, balance. They have a starting five that averages, that can all score. You have Jarvis with 18.5 points, 10.5, 7.5, 11.5, .5, and six. So this is a squad that they're balanced. And I said earlier in the pregame show, this is a team that they like to give out assists. Jack Fickus has six and a half assists. Jarvis with three, Gabe Stack with two, Bennett with two per game. So this is a team also that likes to spread the wealth and allow their teammates to get in on the action, and that's what's gotten them out too. A five and one record as the cheerleaders being announced here tonight, and it's mini cheerleader night. We'll get their performance at halftime or whenever they get that on there. But as the starters being announced, and we will take a look at the starting lineup brought to you by 89 Homes. Raber, Reber, Zercher, Yoder, and Jake Koblenz for the Golden Bears and for the Falcons. As you see them getting ready to be announced, Jack Fickus, Gabe Stack, Braylon Jarvis, Troy Bennett, and Brady Critchbaum. So, ready to go here from Hillsdale High School. Once again, want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening. Let us know where you're watching from. Who you're rooting for tonight. Busy night here at the OH Report as well. We have the rival of Hillsdale, Loudonville, taking on Crestline. We have Lucas and Mansfield Christian. Now we have a big one down in northern Columbus. Westerville North taking on Big Walnut. All these games live and free tonight. We'll have live look-ins of Lucas and Mansfield Christian when that game starts. But we're the first one to get off, so here we go. Underway from Hillsdale and Jack Fickus and company get the first possession. Man-to-man -man for the Golden Bears. Quick weave to start for the Falcons. Stack. It's back out to Bennett. Looking to get it inside. They do to Critchbaum. Back out. Three in the air. Air balled, but an offensive board. Jarvis back with it. Kicks it outside. 35 seconds down here. Opening possession of this one on the Simonson Construction Services scoreboard. Fickus. Back to Bennett. Inside to Jarvis. Nice pass left side. But a block. No, we'll get a foul. And that's how we'll start things off. Nice extra pass there by Jarvis. Foul's going to go against Raber, his first, team's first. And Critchbaum will go to the line. Falcons lead, 1-0. Packed house here tonight. In and out on the second rebound to Waynedale. So they get their first possession of the evening. Raber, the Coblins now left side the Reber. Trying to get it inside the Coblins. They do. Spins right hand. Doesn't get the roll. And the rebound will come out. As Jarvis gets it and gets fouled. Zercher called for his first. Just like that, two quick fouls against Waynedale.
3-2 zone now for Waynedale, packing it in. They still get it inside, layup good. Critchbaum with the first three points, 3-0 Hillsdale. Reber looking for the pass, instead kicks it back out. Yoder out the Raber for three. Off the front iron, Fickus gets the long rebound. Hillsdale looking to add on to its lead. Bennett spins, looking, gets it back to Jack. Hillsdale driving and kicking. Jarvis for three off the back iron. Ball tipped out of bounds. It will go to Wayne Dale with 5.46 left here opening quarter. Take a look at the thickest furniture replay. Raver. Now to the Reaver. Golden Bears running their motion set against this man defense. Raybert drives it in, forces one up off the glass and in. He's got the first points for the Golden Bears. It's 3-2. And we're going to get a throw away here. First turnover against Hillsdale. As Jarvis went too far underneath, we'll take a look at the bucket, though, by Raybert. Just enough to elevate it over top of the block. Bank it in. Raver. Gets it inside to Yoder. Kicks it back out. Three from the corner. Short. Hillsdale there. Fickus slows things down, the reset. Right side. Bennett into the lane, lays it up and in. Troy Bennett's first points, it's 5-2. Yoder to Reber. Reber, top of the free throw line, nails it. Wide open look for Jeremy, it's 5-4. Fickus starts the offense to Bennett, gets it back to him. Inside, Jarvis, yes. Jarvis now on the boards, back to a 7-4 advantage. Coblin's tough shot goes. And the scoring's picked up here. Back at you comes Jarvis. Back to back to back to back buckets. 9-6. Zercher works it around. Raber for three. Missed it off the side iron. Fickus there with the rebound. Pushing inside. Critchbaum dives on the floor, gets the jump ball to go to Waynedale as we take a look at the quick return. Nice pass inside. The Braylon Jarvis beats his defender, gets the bucket. Three minutes left here, opening quarter, 9-6 Hillsdale. Raber's going to try another three. This time he hits, and we're tied up. Five points for him. It's 9-9. Jarvis takes it again. Unstoppable the last two possessions. He's got six. It's 11-9. Nearly a steal, but Reaver keeps it. Gets it over to Raber. Does he have an answer? No. Fickus out with the rebound. Runs the floor. 
nearly a layup, but turns into a turnover. Raber forces the issue. Count the bucket and one. Raber just threw it up. Gets it to go. Foul will be on Fickus. And Raber will have a chance to give Waynedale its first lead of the evening. Won't go, but an offensive board. They'll reset here with under two remaining opening quarter. Right side nearly turned over, but Zercher has it. Back to Raber in the corner. Hudson Barkman now in. But that's Coblins for three. Waynedale by three. Vickis over to Jarvis. Gets it to Critchbaum. Works his way down, but an offensive foul. So they're going to say too much of a shoulder into that one. It'll be a foul and a turnover. That's deflected and will stay with Wayne Dale with 113 left here in the first. Barkman gets it. Gets it back to Raber. 65 seconds left. Tries the deep three. Counted and one again. Matthias Raber. His his tenth point of this opening quarter. Again, misses the back end. And Hillsdale gets the rebound. Back to back end, one buckets. A two plus one attempt, a three plus one attempt. And that's your difference right now, 17-11. Jarvis into the lane, high off the glass, too strong. Rebound, Raber. Barkman into the lane, puts it up, gets it to go. Barkman off the bench, scores, it's 19-11. Fickus. Gets it to Bennett, he drives in. Jump stop, spins off the glass and good. Nice move by Bennett, his fourth points, back to a six-point game. We'll see if Wayne Day will hold for the final shot here of this opening quarter. Raber for another three, yes! And that's how the quarter's going to end. 13 points by Matthias Raber. In this opening quarter, has Wayne Dale out to a 22-13 lead. We'll take a break. Be back with quarter number two here, live and free. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flex Steel, Mohawk Flooring, Dutch Craft Bedding and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. 
Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com. Matthias Raber has taken over this game in the opening minutes. He's got 13 of Waynedale's 22, and they lead by nine. Travis Brardy back here. Hillsdale's first possession of quarter two. Nothing doing. Reber gets it off to Barkman. Back to Raber with the hot hand. That one just in and out. Rebound to Hillsdale. Ahead to Jarvis. Left side, three in the air for an answer. Won't go. Offensive board, no. Another chance. Bennett fights his way. He puts it up and in. Two offensive boards there. Makes it 22-15. What an end to the first quarter for Waynedale. They're trying to keep that going. That three, nothing doing. Heat check won't go. Back comes Hillsdale. Fickus running the floor. Left side, open three again. Short as Dylan Fickus unable to hit. Waynedale. Coblins for another three. Now they're just chucking up threes. Won't go again. And we're going to get a foul inside. As Jarvis once again had an open look at the lane. So after the foul, Braylon Jarvis just having his way inside. And we'll get a stoppage here as we take a look at the bucket. He's got eight points. And Waynedale will take a timeout. A 4-0 run by Hillsdale has it back to 22-17 as we are just underway in quarter number two. Once again, I want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us, a, give us a shout out. We'll shout you out just like Molly Landon. Go Hillsdale watching from Kansas. Hillsdale alumni go Hayden McFadden, number 10. The lone comment right now. So get those in there, folks. 22-17 the score here. Hillsdale with a 4-0 start to the quarter, though, has cut the lead back. Raber gets it to Barkman, nearly stolen, tipped back to him. He tries the three, and that time he will hit. Raber's fourth three of the first half. 25-17. Ficus to Ficus. Inside the Jarvis. Quadruple teamed and we'll get a foul. So the third foul of the quarter for Waynedale. Jarvis spins, goes baseline, puts it up, puts it in. Braylon Jarvis with 10. 25-19, two possession game. Into the corner, ball fake, open look. Won't go, offensive board, rejected. Back comes Hillsdale, Ficus, right side, ball fake, 
mid-range jumper, too strong. Five minutes left in the half, 25-19. Another short shot by Raber, another rebound by Fickus. Jack into the lane, kicks it right side. Inside, good. Jarvis again. 12 points for him, it's 25-21. Zercher for three, in and out. A lot of good shots here, just haven't been able to go through the net. Jarvis will try a three, gets his own board though. What hustle. Inside the Fickus for the layup. It's 25-23, Jack's first points. Great effort there by Jarvis to get his own rebound and find a cutting Fickus for two. And another rejection. Jarvis ahead. Gets to the lane, lays it up and in. We're tied. It's a 12-3 start for Hillsdale here in the first four minutes of the second. And we're tied up again. Raber. Right side to Coblins. He'll drive in. Euros puts it up. No rebound, Hillsdale. Fickus ahead to stack, but too strong. Out of bounds as we take a look at the bucket by Braylon Jarvis. Just using one hand for the lay-in. He's got 14 points. After a couple substitutions, back to action. Yoder fouled. And that'll be Bennett's first. <laughs> kind of hooked him there. And that's where they got him. Reber pulls up, hits. Finally breaks the run by Hillsdale. Wayne Doe gets the lead back 27-25. Fickus gets it to stack. He'll pull up for two. Too strong. Rebound fought for. Critchbaum couldn't get it to go though. Had a good look at it, just couldn't finish. Reber gets a screen, gets it off the Coblins. Now the Zercher. Great look inside, layup good by Reber. Lulled the defense to sleep there. It's back to a four point game. Under two to play and a fast paced first half. Bennett lays it up, won't go. Rebound fought for. And we'll get a foul on Hillsdale against Critchbaum, his second. Raber checks back in after taking a little break. With his squad up four. Coming up on 90 seconds left in the half. Right side. 
Looking to run some clock. Looking for that open look. Under a minute left. Zercher kicks it back out to Mark Yoder. Now to Koblenz. He tries to drive, nearly gets it out of his hands, gets it to Raber for three. Offensive board, though. Right to Evan Yoder for the finish. And a foul. So we take a look at the bucket on the other end. Only the fourth against Wayne Dale, so no free throws as of yet. Vickis will hold for the final shot. Jarvis will try a deep three just off the mark with four seconds. Three, two, Raber at the buzzer. Won't go too strong, and that is how the half will end. Wayne Dale gave up a big run by Hillsdale but finishes the half strong. They lead at 31-25 going to the break. We'll take a break when we come back. The halftime report as well as the mini Falcon cheerleaders right here, live and free. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flex Steel, Mohawk flooring, Dutch craft bedding, and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com. Nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game.
Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flex Steel, Mohawk Flooring, Dutch Craft Bedding and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture, quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com. We guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Welcome back inside the 89 Homes Halftime Report where your score at the break, 31-25 in favor of Wayne Dale. Travis Berardi back here in Jeromesville where Matthias Raber had one heck of an end of the first quarter helping his Golden Bears out to this lead. Let's get right into the halftime statistics. Once again brought to you by 89 Homes. Five threes from Waynedale compared to none from Hillsdale. There's your difference right now. Four of those coming from Raber. He had 13 in the first quarter. He added a three in the second quarter for the 16 points that he has. Hillsdale yet to score from beyond the arc, but Braylon Jarvis, seven of the 11 twos, as he has really been able to get into the paint tonight. Not many turnovers, two for Waynedale, four for Hillsdale. Free throw shooting. Falcons one of two, and that's been pretty much all other than the 0 for 2 by Raber. Individual scoring so far in this one. Just talked about Raber, 16 points, 13 coming in the first quarter. Four of those coming from beyond the arc. Four is 16, Jake Koblenz with five, Jeremy Reber with six, Hudson Barkman with two, Evan Yoder with two. As for Hillsdale, they're led by Braylon Jarvis's 14 points, Troy Bennett with four, Jack Vickis with two, Brady Critchbaum with three. Score by quarter, 22-13 Waynedale in that first, 12-9 Hillsdale in the second. They went on a 12-0 run to tie things at 25 before Waynedale finished the quarter to actually take the lead. Waynedale then went on a 7-0 run to finish the quarter 31-25, and that is your score right here at the break. Do want to let you know we are live and free in our other games as well. Lucas Mansfield Christian, that's for first place in the Mid-Buckeye Conference. We also have Loudonville Crestline. Just about to start as well as the Westerville North Big Walnut. So just about ready to go here. 
in quarter number three. Wayne Dale will get possession to start quarter number three. We switch ends. They will be going from left to right on your screen. Hillsdale right to left. As we begin the third quarter. Zercher gets it stripped. Turnover. Here comes Hillsdale. Fickus slowed up for a second. Critchbaum inside, takes it in. Bucket good, his fifth point. 31-27. Raber. Fakes the three, and they work it around. Zercher. Back to Mark Yoder. Now to Reber. All five players have touched the ball on this possession. Around the screen, the three is nothing but nylon. Raber's got another three. 34-27. Stack back out to Fickus. That's off the foot of Wayne Dale but into the hands of Jarvis. That's an offensive foul. That'll be his first. Team's first of the second half. He can get some contact, but that one he went all body into him for the charge. Coblins. Nearly stolen away, but deflected, and Raber gets it. Spins back out. Yoder into the paint. Now to Coblins. Yoder underneath the bucket, gets it to Raber, floats it up. No, but tipped off of Hillsdale, and will stay with Waynedale with 6-10 left in the third. Entry pass to Yoder, double teamed. Gets it stripped, but into the hands of Reber. Back out to Raber. That time the three won't go. Hillsdale with the board. Into the lane. Reverse layup goes. Who else? Braylon Jarvis, another highlight for the hoop. It's 34 29. Unbelievable bucket there. Yoder, right side the Reber. Back to him, gets the layup to go. Nice give and go. Yoder's first points, it's 38-29. 36-29, my correction. Stack's going to try a three. Stack it up. His first bucket, a big hoop for Hillsdale. 36-32. Raber, bit of an ankle breaker, gets it to Coblins. Inside underneath the Reber with the reversal. His eighth point, 38-32. Stack along the baseline, gets it inside, shot too strong, but we'll get a foul. Critchbaum. Fouls on Mark Yoder, his first. Critchbaum short on the first free throw. He was one of two in the first half. Gets the second to go. Five point Golden Bear lead.
Yoder. To Raver, along the baseline, spins, kicks it straight away for Reber. Yoder now into the lane, gets the layup to go. Seven point lead for Waynedale. Critchbaum stripped out, it'll stay as we take a look at the replay of the other bucket. Brought to you by Thickest Furniture. Jack looking at inbounds. Turns it over. Bit of a collision, no foul called, but it will stay with Wayne Dale with 4.07 left in the third. Reber out the Coblins. Coblins is wide open instead of the turnover. Into the lane, Euros puts it up. Offensive foul. What? Oh, my. I'll just leave it at that. Sixth Hillsdale turnover. Coblins gets it to Reber. 3.30 left in the third. Waynedale by seven. Nearly stolen away again, but this time Reber keeps it. And now he does turn it over. But given right back into the lane, layup, yes. Timeout, Waynedale. Fick has had it stripped. Reber takes it in. Reber's with 10. Raber with 19. To lead Waynedale back out to a nine point lead with 316 left. Third quarter. Looks like Hayden McFadden will be checking in for the Falcons here after the timeout. While we have a moment, we can thank our sponsors. Simons and Construction Services, 89 Homes, Ficus Furniture, Home and Kitchen Supply, and BS Media. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening. So out of the timeout, Hillsdale will inbounds down nine. Kale Lewis also in for the Hillsdale. Fickus gets to McFadden. Back to Jack. Now Bennett into the lane. Tough shot goes. No charge that time. It's 42-35. Lewis gets a deflection but stays with Raber. Inside, deflected, but we will get a foul. That will be against Lewis. That'll be the third on the Falcons here in the quarter. First free throw good for Yoder. Now with five. Yeah. 
Second one won't go. McFadden gets the board. Back to Jack Fickus. Eight-point lead for Waynedale. McFadden, mid-range, short. Into the lane, what a move, but it won't drop. Got Jarvis out of the way, but just missed on the layup attempt. Bennett into the lane again, stops, gets it deflected, gets his dribble back. Ball fakes, muscles, puts it in. Bennett with eight, 43-37, as Coach Ferguson wanted a full court pressure there. Zercher looking for Koblenz, instead goes the Yoder. 90 seconds left, third quarter. Mid-range from Raber. Rainbow ball, Fickus with the board. Two on two with McFadden. Fickus fakes, puts it up around the rim and in. Fickus with his fourth point, 43-39. <clears throat> Apologies for the squeaking, I'm still trying to get over a cold. Back and forth we go. Zercher. Yoder for three. What a big bucket for Waynedale. Actually, it was Reber that hit the three. Jarvis can't get the bucket to fall, but he will get two. Fouls on Mark Yoder, his second. Jarvis has two points here in the second half. <laughs> Substitutions by both sides. This to make it a two possession game. Got it. 46-40. Hillsdale going full court man. Raber able to break it. Into the lane, layup, yes. Braden Schlebaugh into the game gets it. McFadden on the other end, short. Ten seconds. Raber will drive. Kicks it out. Right side. Coblins for another three. No. Rebound Hillsdale. Four seconds. Three. To stack. Saves it. No. They said he was out of bounds. And with .5 seconds, we'll just get an inbounds. As you see the layup to make it 48-40. Home run ball. Deflected, and that's how the quarter will end. We've played three here in Jeromesville. Waynedale holding on to the 48-40 lead. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flexsteel, Mohawk flooring, Dutch craft bedding and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com.
Money time here in Jeromesville. Waynedale looking to give Hillsdale its second loss of the season. They lead him by eight. Travis Berardi back here. Hillsdale with the first possession of the quarter. Bennett going to get fouled. So the Falcons will inbounds to Bennett. Looks for Fickus, but throws it away. Back comes Waynedale, layup good. Yoder again, 50 to 40. Critchbaum spins up and under, lays it in. His fifth point of the second half. Yoder double team gets it. The Coblins into the lane, passes it off, lays it in. Zercher with his first points. Jarvis give and go to Critchbaum, but too strong. And we're going to get a foul on Bennett. That'll be his third, but kind of a good break for them because it takes away the bucket. Raber tries for a second three of a half. He gets it. 22 from him. Six threes. Fritchbaum going to be fouled. We take a look at the three. Bennett gets the inbounds. 13-point Waynedale lead here with 6.20 left. Falcons need a run. Bennett for three. There's a start. <laughs> 11 for him. It's 55-45. Koblenz inside the Yoder. Spins, gets it to go. Nine points all here in the second half for him. Jarvis with the little flick. Raber. Closely guarded now, gets it to Koblenz. Back to Raver. Can he get another three? Yeah. Timeout. Unbelievable game by Matthias Raber. He has seven threes. And it's 60 to 47. What a game by him thus far. Get a look in. At Lucas and Mansfield Christian, the Cubs leading 6-4 to four in that one early on. You take a look at a packed house here.
coming out of the break. Falcons will inbound. 25 of the Bears' 60 points coming from Matthias Raber. Stack into the corner. Bennett thought about the three. Up and under and gets it to go. Bennett continues his hot half. It's an 11 point game with six, with five minutes remaining. Nice behind the back into the lane, kicks it back out. Coblins. Now the Zercher. And they turn it over. Break for Hillsdale. Jarvis, layup good. Jarvis on the breakout, it's a nine point game. 4.25 left. Deflected out, it'll stay as we take a look at the hoop by Ficus Furniture. Ball nearly stripped away. Raber keeps it, he'll pop for three. Oh my goodness! Stop, pop, bucket. On the other end, a tough muscle bucket for Jarvis. These two are going back and forth at each other now. 10 point game. Reaver, and try to work it back to Raber, who can't miss. Coblins now, gets it stripped from behind, keeps it, blocked though, and he will get a frustration foul. So the Falcons now with a chance to get this back to single digits, as we approach three minutes left in regulation. Stack over the Ficus, into the corner for Bennett. Drives in, offensive foul. Take a look at the replay. The Waynedale player was moving, but I guess he lowered his shoulder enough. That'll be Bennett's fourth. Vickis gets a steal though. So the Falcons, Bennett gets his fourth foul, but it doesn't hurt them on the scoreboard. He's gonna take it into the lane, reject it off the glass. Two on one, ball fake, puts it up and in. And Hillsdale will take a timeout. Yoder has 11 in the second half. Every time Hillsdale gets a bucket, Wayne Dale answers. Two thirty-seven left. Look back in at Manseal Christian Lucas. The Flames now with a two-point lead. Let's listen in to Brian Skaronski on the call. So a lot of moving pieces and parts here, bringing you live and free action of this first place Mid-Buckeye Conference game. Speaking of moving pieces as parts, how about Rensel 
getting taken off the bounce. Tom's ridiculous. So there's a look in at the furnace at Mansfield Christian. Back here, Hillsdale with the inbounds. They need to play perfectly off the, on the offensive end the rest of the way. That's a start. Jarvis with another bucket. Ten-point game. And now the Golden Bears will run some clock. Down to two minutes left. Pass the defender in an easy hoop. Reber with the bucket. And Hillsdale will get another timeout. So barring an epic comeback by Hillsdale, looks like Waynedale's going to get a big win. Let's take a live look in at Westerville North and Big Walnut. That game just underway. First place in their conference on the line there tonight. Sixty-seven fifty-five. The score. Bennett to Jarvis. Braylon looking to drive instead pulls up for three in and out. Rebound fought for and taken by Wayndale. Easy look ahead, and that pretty much clinches it. That three won't go. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with 1.14 left as we take a look at the cherry pick and the bucket. Stack up the Bennett. He'll try the three. It's short. One minute left. They'll look to just run this out. Ball stripped away, Jarvis lays it in. 27 for Braylon, but it's gonna be too little too late. It's the third foul. Gets it out to the one with 28 points on the night. Eight threes. Three, two, one. Out of bounds. And that'll do it. Wayne Dale behind Matthias Ravers, 28, comes in and knocks off Hillsdale. 
57. We'll take a break when we come back. The 89 Homes post-game show as well as our MVP right here, live and free. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flexsteel, Mohawk flooring, Dutch craft bedding and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com. guarantee nobody else gets you closer to the action than our exclusive coverage. So give me a call, Brian Skaronsky, and let's make you a part of the game. Tonight's WCAL action brought to you live and free on the OH Report thanks to our generous sponsors. Simonson Construction Services Incorporated. From concept to completion, we can help you make a plan, refine your vision, and build a path for success. BS Media Productions. Need a commercial to showcase your business or promote that you're hiring? BS Media Productions is the most affordable, high-quality production company in North Central Ohio. Find them on Facebook. 89 Homes and Building Improvements. Building homes, earning trust since 1979. Home and Kitchen Supply, your one-stop shop for kitchen and baths, windows and doors since 1970. And Ficus Furniture, 
a fourth generation company celebrating over 100 years in the furniture business, selling Bassett, Flex Steel, Smith Brothers of Burn, Mohawk Flooring, and Dutch Craft Bedding with free delivery and removal of old furniture. Thickest furniture, quality furniture at an affordable price. Thank you all for allowing us to be live and free this evening, right here on the OH Report. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flex Steel, Mohawk flooring, Dutch craft bedding and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com. Time now for our BS Media Productions MVP, and it is the hot-handed Wayne Dale Golden Bear, Matthias Raber. Game high, 28 points, eight threes to lead Wayne Dale to a big win, 69-57. First of all, Matthias, congratulations. What got into you tonight? You just couldn't miss. You know, I really don't know. You know, our team had an energy coming right off the bus. We, we've come off two straight losses. We came in ready to play, and we got it done. Uh, you beat a good 5-1 and one Hillsdale squad. They beat, you know, they knocked off a defending regional runner-up in Dalton earlier this year. You know, they were riding high, but you guys came in and you had a very good game plan. You frustrated them. You hit some big shots. Just uh, what were you got? You, you just said you guys came off the bus with a good vibe. Just what was the game plan coming in here against them? You know, we knew, we knew they came off a tough loss against Norway recently. So we knew that if we could come in and get the momentum swinging right away, we knew we'd have a good chance to win this game. You move up to five and four now, uh, three and two in the conference. Still a long way to go in this season. Just what are what do you, what are some things you guys want to work on? Some expectations for the rest of the year. You know, this uh, this last week we prided ourselves on defense because those last two losses, our our defense was pretty bad. Uh, we came in, we're priding ourselves on defense. We're just going to keep getting better and better. Uh, we we think we can be a top team in the league if we just keep progressing. All right, sir. Lastly. As always, if you want to look into the camera, give anybody you want a shout out. Go for it, my friend. And I just want to thank my team. You know, they kept passing me the ball. I made shots, had some great assists. It was a good night. Go uh, put those hands in some water, cool them down right now. <laughs> yeah. The hot hand of the night, Matthias Raver, 28 points on eight threes. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Since 1974, Simonson has helped their clients stay on target to meet the goals and deadlines for their projects. From concept to completion, Simonson can design a plan and build a path for success. Let Simonson Construction turn that vision into a reality. Ficus Furniture, celebrating 100 years in the furniture business, displaying all the latest styles by manufacturers such as Bassett, Flex Steel, Mohawk flooring, Dutch craft bedding, and more. With free delivery setup and removal, make your next movie night comfortable with Ficus Furniture. Quality furniture at an affordable price. Visit our Jeromesville location or visit us online at ficusfurniture.com.
Welcome back to the 89 Homes postgame show where Wayne Dale comes in. And, hey, look, two of the district runner-up softball players down there uh, wearing some, uh, eh, I don't know, jerseys. Uh, I mean, I get into that. One team that can't win a bowl game, the other team that hasn't won another uh, bowl in forever. Actually, they've never won a Super Bowl, so there we have it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Goon and Miss Morgan down there. But wrapping things up here, Wayne Dale comes in and just shoots lights out behind Matthias Raber for the 69-57 victory. And let's take a look at the final stats. Once again, brought to you by 89 Homes. 10 total threes on the night. 19 twos. Just an amazing performance offensively. Hillsdale tried the answer with 23 twos themselves but just couldn't get anything done from behind the arc this evening. Individual scoring before we wrap things up here tonight. First for Waynedale, 28 points from Raber, eight threes, 15 from Jeremy Reber, 11 from Mark Yober, five from Koblenz, four from Zercher, two apiece from Barkman, Yoder, and company. Hillsdale led by Braylon Jarvis' 27 points, 13 from Troy Bennett, eight from Bradley Kirchbaum, four from Jack Vickis, three from Gabe Stack. Score by quarter, 22-13, Waynedale after one. Hillsdale answered 12-9 in the second for the 31-25 Waynedale advantage at the break. 17-15, Waynedale in the third to make it 48-40, and then they outscored Hillsdale 21-17 for the 69-57 final. Next up for Waynedale, they'll take on Garraway. In four days at 6 o'clock, Hillsdale will take on a Smithville team that just knocked off Wayne Dale in a close game. That as well at 7 o'clock. But let's get out of here. I want to thank everybody that helped make things possible today. First of all, Jory Skaronsky on the camera work. I want to thank all the fine folks that allowed us to be live and free. Our sponsor, Simonson Construction Services, our scoreboard sponsor. BS Media Productions, our MVP sponsor. Our pregame halftime postgame sponsor, 89 Homes and Building Improvements. And our replay sponsor and commercial sponsor, Ficus Furniture. Home and Kitchen Supply, our timeout sponsor, and Simonson Construction Services, another commercial sponsor. I want to thank the fine folks, Jody Long and the athletic department here at Hillsdale for allowing us to be here, and the OHSA for allowing us to bring you these games live and free. Wayne Dale comes into the new gym at Hillsdale and knocks off the Falcons. 69-57 for Jory Skaronski. I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from Jeromesville.